shoe on head will remain unmarried. And I was wrong. I was as wrong as ever could be. Despite my pattern prediction abilities being better than ever, uh, it did in fact seem that June got heckin' picked. After years of being a pick-me, she was finally picked by a schizophrenic Catholic um, who sees demons in his sleep. Uh, my my uh, belief was that June's picture for being proposed to is like this because she didn't have makeup on because he probably just proposed her on the couch instead of like in a romantic way. But you know she's gonna accept it. It's got a nice, it's got a nice diamond on it, and she's probably not gonna get another chance with somebody normal. So here we go. Uh, June is married, which leaves an interesting question uh, for 2024: What is she gonna do now that she's married? Uh, it could be, it's possible that she will get pregnant. I imagine that she's going to try to get pregnant. She seems to have the baby, the baby, what, what, what the baby, baby fever, baby fever. She has baby fever, probably going to try and get pregnant. So that's a pretty safe guess. Um, I imagine that June will probably announce a pregnancy in 2024. Not possible. <laughs> uh, anything's possible with love. Uh, 2024, uh, or in 2023, I predicted that speaking, this is kind of tangential, but I predicted that armored skeptic, uh, will have to cuddle up with PPP to survive the cold winter. And as you can imagine, I mean, have you heard of armored skeptic? It appears that I was right. And armored skeptic dropped off the face of the planet. Uh, he's disappeared forever. Nobody's heard of him in the last year. So it's possible he did try to cuddle up with PPP and simply got lost. But I'm a liar. Uh, he is still putting out videos. I have not paid attention to Armored Skeptic since he put out a uh, little message about how he is depressed and going to delete his channel and shit. But he's still been putting out videos kind of consistently, it looks like, once a month at least. And getting okay views. Not massive blockbuster views. Um, okay views. Not Jim James Stefani Sterling level views, but uh, views nonetheless. He seems to be entirely interested in like conspiracy theories and cryptids and weird shit like that. But he's still around, still making videos. I guess he realized that he didn't have much options except to... Uh, um, continue forward with his YouTube channel. <laughs> that was his best bet, I guess he figured. I decided that in the good nature of seeing how he's doing, I would give one of his videos a shot. So I clicked the one that interested me the most. Um, this is not a joke, I did do this. Uh, I clicked... Where is it? Our empire is falling, the future is a lie. And this is... Uh, around the time that I gave up, a couple of minutes into it. I've found it very helpful and useful to share my personal experience with you in these videos. Usually I like to stay pretty private. I don't even respond to all of those horrendous rumors or drama accusations about me. God, they are piling up. But I think it's important to express my motivation for making these videos. And I've really enjoyed connecting with you. The discussion in the comments has been really nice. You've all made me feel like I'm not so alone in the world. And you've pretty much become the only human interaction that I get now. So thank you everyone for helping me keep my head on straight. I love you. This video is going to be a bit of a rant. I know that I usually have a very specific presentation style, but not every single one of my videos requires me to come off as an authority because I'm not making these videos to prove that I'm smarter than the situation that's happening in the world right now. I'm making these videos because I'm scared and alone. And 
I can't find any comfort or distraction that can stop me from feeling that fear. I can't distract myself from feeling this loneliness. I can't shake this uncertainty about what will happen in the near future. And I know that I'm not the only one that feels this way. I want you to know that you are not alone. And you're not crazy for feeling uncertainty in the face of this storm. We've been divided. We've been kept from- There is a part where- oh, this part right here, I'll skip to this. And makes every- on us through the media, but those personalities that are allowed to get really popular, they push rage bait that discredits all critics and makes everyone who is skeptical of modern media look ignorant and hateful. The only outlets that are allowed to get really big on YouTube, for example, churn out endless hate content for clicks. Creators who produce content like this unironically empower legitimate misogynists and racists and make it look like everyone who's critical of modern media is one of these misogynists is one of these racists this, this is why snl got this is why i um this is where i, I gave up on the video because it's just like a gay point to make like who the fuck cares about racism whenever anyone com complains about racism or misogyny it, i like my brain shuts off like i just don't care I haven't, I, whatever you have to say after that is irrelevant to my interest. Um, I, also, I, I find it, whenever I listen to a YouTuber that I've never listened to before, and um, he does it in the first minute where he alludes to like this drama that is bothering him, that's an instant turnoff to me. Because whenever somebody like, passive aggressively like waves their hand at like this unknown drama i immediately assume that they're in the wrong because otherwise you wouldn't talk about it like that i don't know it, that's a i i don't know why but i just immediately assume that whatever it is is really bad and you're definitely guilty of it when you do like a passing mention like oh all this drama about me that you guys definitely know about because it's like i don't um i can't remember there was another um there's another YouTuber that I listen to. Oh, there's like a spammer. Thanks, Rumble. Oh, I need. There's like. There's not like a kill button for this. I need to uh, program the fucking. I'm very close to having the the moderator actions working on the uh, the overlay too. Anyways, there was somebody I listened to that was like alluding to all their drama, and it's just I, I don't know what it is. It's just exceedingly unprofessional to me when somebody who's like a video maker alludes to how much people hate them i i don't know if i'm unique in this but i mean sometimes even like celebrities do it like on on like professional interviews like they allude to like their twitter audience like hating them or something i'm just like who gives a fuck if you if it bothers you that much it must be somewhat true you must really deserve it so as far as Greg goes, I don't think it matters. What's he gonna do? He's just gonna make conspiracy videos. Go for it, buddy. I have no predictions for him. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.